It's important when you meditate that you focus on what's going right. The fact that you can stay with the breath, at least to some extent, focus on that and give yourself pep talks. Because you've got to clear a space here in the mind. And it's done by building on your strengths, giving yourself some confidence. Because you're going to be dealing with some very negative things in your mind as the questions of insight come up. And so you need something on your side. So make the breath your ally. Breathe in a way that feels really good. And even if the mind wanders off, just bring it right back. Run as well, bring it right back. Have some confidence you can do this. One of the questions I received at the Zoom meeting the other day was from a woman who's been able to develop some concentration, but she's concerned that the thoughts now are nibbling away at the edge of her consciousness. And she's not focusing on them, and she's afraid she's not going to get any insights. And I told her, eventually you will invite the thoughts in, but first you've got to create a safe space inside where you are in charge. So they come in on your terms. Otherwise, if all you can focus on are the negative things in your mind, it doesn't stop there. You start getting negative about yourself, and from being negative about yourself, you get negative about your surroundings and negative about the people around you. It doesn't lead anywhere any good. After all, the whole point of the Four Noble Truths is that the cause of suffering is inside. We need to comprehend it, but in order to comprehend it, we need to develop the path. Otherwise, it's going to overwhelm us, suffering and the causes of suffering. So focus on your good points inside. Focus on what you can do. And if it doesn't seem like much, well, learn how to Talk yourself into seeing it as more than you think it is. You know, in other words, see it as something positive. Just the simple intention to do something skillful, that's skillful in and of itself. And then however long you can stick with it, that's good. And if it's not very long, we'll just say, well, next time we'll do it a little bit longer and a little bit longer. Start where you are and have some confidence that you can do this. You can get it right. Because otherwise you start blaming other people, and that doesn't help anything. You blame your past, you blame all kinds of stuff. What you've got to look to is the present moment. The present moment gives you an opportunity each time you breathe in, each time you breathe out. This is the time to do something skillful. This is the time to rewrite the narrative arc of your life. So focus on the positive inside. Give it more room, give it more space, give it more strength. And then you will be able to handle the problems that come up. The Buddha doesn't have you simply just jump right in and deal with craving right away. He has you build a path. And however long it takes to build a path, it's all, it's all to the good. It may be slow in the beginning, but as you get more used to it, then it begins to speed up.